want to show you how to tie this spinner. We're going to tie it tonight, so it'll be a sulfur spinner. But you could tie this for any mayfly spinner. Really, I want to show you to a couple of techniques that you can take and you know use for any of your mayflies. I'm going to show you how I split tails. And I'm going to show you this hackle stacker um, way of hackling a fly. It's a Bob Bob quickly came up with a hackle stacker um, technique. It's really neat. I'll show you how to do it. It's really neat for spinners because if you're going to use hackle for your wings, you get this really clean thorax area that I like. Um, you can see you get a great spinner profile and the hackle floats great. You can also, when we're done dying this fly, our hackle will all be stacked on top of the fly in a little dome shape. And I've gone and squished these fibers down with my fingers. Um, but you can leave them up like that. And since spinner patterns are so flush floating and oftentimes hard to see, can be a great little visual indicator. We're going to just use a few materials on this fly. We're going to use micro fibbits for the tails. We're going to use white tonight. Going to use some sulfur spinner East Coast dubbing, a uh, grizzly hackle, and then you'll also need a little bit of old 6x tippet. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to use a size 14 TMC 100 dry fly hook. I'm going to use this Russ Brown 8 dot uni thread. So I will start my thread onto the hook, put up a little bit of a thread base wrap my thread back to the hook point. I'm going to trim off this waist and I'm going to hang on to this waist. You can put it in your material clip or just keep it close by. And then I'm going to wind my thread back to so it hangs right over the barb of the hook. I will take four micro fibbits and I'll measure these so they're about a little bit longer than the length of the hook shank. You know, I encourage you to look at some spinners, see how long the tails are. Everyone has different opinions on proportions. Just look at the bug. That's the best way to find out. So I mount those right on top of the hook with a couple of turns. Now what I'm going to do is take that my waist tag of thread and I'm going to pull it right up and form a little loop of it around my hook bend. Then I'll just take two micro fibbits and pull them towards me and then pull the thread up in between. Splits my tails really easily. Pull that thread forward and then I'm going to just wind that thread and the micro fibbit tags down. Pull them straight up and then clip them off. And there it is. I got really simple way to divide tails and they're never going to come back together got that thread in between them don't have to do any figure eights or anything like that so I wind my thread back take some of this sulfur spinner dubbing this is really easy dubbing to work with it goes on the thread really easy and it's nice to make really thin bodies with it which is important for these spinners don't want to bulk it up too much you can use a buyout for the body if you wanted to so I dub that onto my thread, making sure to keep it thin. Start dubbing my abdomen. Tighten that dubbing up every once in a while as I wind it. Make sure it stays the way I want it to. That's pretty good there. The other nice thing about this dubbing is it comes off the thread super easy. So now I've gotten into the thorax area and I'm going to take a length of 6x tippet. You want it to be about 2 to 3 inches long, your loop, up above your fly. So I'll just tie those in. A bunch of wraps. I don't want that monofilament to pull out. And then I will take a grizzly hackle and tie it in right next to it. Now I zoom the camera out a little bit so you can see how I deal with this monofilament loop and in terms of hackling this um, hackle stacker spinner. So you want to put your one of your fingers from your left hand up in this loop 
and keep it keep the tension going the whole time you hackle this fly. So you use all these other fingers to aid you in wrapping this hackle around this monofilament. And what I want to do is I want to wrap up as far up this monofilament as this distance I have to cover in my thorax. It's as high up as I want to go and then I want to start wrapping back down. So I've already got there. Then I'm going to start wrapping my hackle back down my monofilament post. And when I get down here at the bottom I'm just going to tie that hackle off. I like to shorten up my thread there. As I tie off my hackle. Then I can just trim the excess out. Just trim the little tip of our hackle out there. If you want to fold your hackle back and trim any fibers that got trapped down, you can go ahead and do that now. And all I'm going to do is to take some more of my sulfur spinner dubbing to create the thorax on my fly. You want this to be a little bit thicker than the abdomen, but don't go too crazy. What I usually do is I'll look at all around my fly where I need to put some dubbing. Occasionally you have to put a wrap behind the hackle you've just built up. And while I have these hackles right here, I'm just going to trim those off so they don't interfere with the hook eye. Let's build up a little thorax area. Looks pretty good. Get my thread behind the hook eye. Then I'm going to sweep all this hackle back out of the way much of it as I can grab. Get my monofilament pulled down to a pinch wrap, trap that in with a couple of wraps and now I want to take this monofilament once I've got a few good wraps on it and pull it down. Really lock that loop in. You can sort of sweep those back a little bit so you can get some clean thread wraps. And it's a good idea to fold that mono back that way it'll never pull out on you trim off the excess and then just whip finish your fly do a little hand whip finish here so I can sweep those fibers back make sure my threads are nice and tight trim off the thread and then you can see you could leave your fly looking like this and you'd have a pretty good sight sighter there as you're fishing it um, but we've got that same spinner profile I tend to take the fibers sort of work them down to each side um, it builds up that wing profile just a little bit better um, this thing floats really these hackle fiber wings they float really good so go ahead and give these a try in the next couple of weeks take some of those techniques and apply them to whatever other spinner, mayfly spinners you're trying to imitate. And I hope you enjoy it.